Hello everyone, welcome to Auto All About. So for today, we have another SUV from Honky, the Honky HS5. This is a five-seater luxury SUV from the Chinese state car owner brand Honky. So in today's video, we'll have a full in-depth look at the HS5 along with a test drive. So let's have a look at the car first. So taking a look at the front end design, Honky is always having their signature grills on all their cars. This looks somewhat similar to the Rolls Royce grills. That's simply because the ex Rolls Royce designer is currently the design head of Honky. So we can see some references here and there from Rolls Royce. So having a detailed look at the hood and the grill, this is the uh, typical Honky uh, logo we can say which will be there in all of their cars uh, because the basically honky means in Chinese red flag so that red flag theme is there everywhere in this car uh, which I will show you in the interior as well uh, so that red flag theme continues from the hood all the way to the this uh, beautiful chromium grill and there is one camera also part of the 360 degree camera system and talking about the headlights these are full LED headlights with the daytime running lamp which also works as an indicator lamp uh, which is sequential obviously you can see and coming below we have a quad led fog lamps in this car those looks really nice at night these are very bright and very wide so that we can see everything in front of the car uh, have a look at the night view from the car so these headlights are having the honky writing inside and those are finished like crystals inside the headlamp other than that we have four parking sensors up front here and overall look at the front end that shows that luxuriness of the car very well and at the bottom we can see there is a small front lip with the chromium lining on top of it beautiful so coming to the sides the car has got uh, 20 inch wheels with 255 series tires in all four corners and uh, this element here is also uh, part of the honky design element that red theme and coming to the mirrors those are foldable mirrors with uh, another camera for the 30 degree camera system and there is also a projector here which projects the honky red flag to the ground at night that is really beautiful to see when we are approaching the car or when we are opening the doors basically when we unlock the car the honky red flag will be projected to the ground like this so the doors they are pretty wide opening almost 90 degree opening doors here and those are finished in like two-tone with the chromium and the body color below and there is also uh, chromium insert all the way around the windows and uh, also we do have the aluminum roof rights here the fuel filler is given on the right side of the car so coming towards the rear end as all other honkies we can we have the honky writing in the center in chinese and we have a rear spoiler with a high mounted stop lamp and uh, you can see a shark fin antenna up top and the rear lights those are also full led these headlamps and the rear lamps together makes a really nice dancing effect sequential dancing effect while unlocking the car at night those are that is really beautiful have a look so talking about the uh, tail lamp this is also having that sequential LED indicator lamp here and coming to the center portion we have the uh, rear view camera along with the trunk release button over here and you can see there are four more parking sensors below that with a fog lamp in the center and obviously dual exhaust like a typical fashion the 40 td is given here i don't know for what it is this can these kind of light rings can be seen in most of the 
Chinese cars. The car is an all-wheel drive one that is mentioned over here. So this is the look at the wheels. Beautifully finished 20-inch wheels here. Kind of a diamond cut design here. So that's about the exterior of the car. So let's move on to the interior and have a look at the luxury features of the HS5. So here is a look at the key fob of the HS5. So typical honky key fob which is having the honky lettering behind and that red theme in the center with a lock, unlock and trunk release and for a panic button. So the car is having a keyless entry function so keep the key fob in the pocket and to lock the car simply press on this button and the car locks and to unlock the car grab the door handle and the car unlocks for us so when opening the door itself we can feel the door is really heavy actually it's compared to any other car it's pretty heavy door and pretty wide opening one so talking about the door itself it has got a lot of nice finishes around you can see on top we have a soft touch element with this black theme and that real aluminum and chromium finishes here with this diamond stitching and leather hand support here and the mirror controls are located here and all four windows are having the automatic up and down function the mirrors are heated as well so below that we can see a pretty large storage option here along with a speaker as part of the 12 speaker both center points around audio system and having a look at the door sills it's, these are illuminated honky logo here in the door sills so here is a look at the beautiful interior of the hs5 so let's start from the seats these are finished in alcantara and leather really comfortable seats with 12-way power adjustments with power lumbar so stepping inside so to start the car the start stop button is located in the center control area so press that to start up the engine So we are greeted with this beautiful luxurious interior by the HS5. Having a look in detail, let's start from the left side. Here we have the hill start assist control button and the trunk release button along with the illumination control for the instrument cluster. There is a head up display available for this car and uh, it is controlled by here. The height can be adjusted and it can be turned on and off from here. The detail control of the head up display is available in the infotainment screen itself i will show you that in a moment so talking at the rest of the interior it's a really beautiful interior with this dual 12.3 inch screens in the center for the uh, infotainment and as well as for the instrument panel so talking about the instrument cluster itself the, it has got this beautiful fully digital instrument cluster which can be configured in uh, two or three manners like classics Sport, classic sport and simple from the uh, in, in, from the infotainment screen the sport one is the one which I like the most because as you can see there is this red flag uh, showing the RPM and the speedometers that's that's a really nice element looks like somewhat like a 3d effect uh, so the rest of the controls are through the buttons of the steering wheel the right side one controls the instrument cluster uh, screens like you can click right or left to go through the different menus and the scroll wheel can be used for the remaining controls so uh, it's a beautiful really beautiful uh, instrument cluster here uh, having a look at the other side of the steering wheel we have the media controls over here the volume knob is with the scroll bar uh, the car doesn't have any other physical controls in the center area other than these for some critical functions so the volume button is over here on the steering wheel only which i find it uh, comfortable uh, after using for a while overall it's a really nice design for this beautifully leather wrapped steering wheel with the flat bottom and this aluminium insert in the bottom the horn is in the center as normal 
on the left side of the steering wheel we have the automatic headlight controls and the cruise control there is no adaptive cruise control for this particular model but but it is available in the higher trim level this model which we are looking at is the mid option of the hs5 so we can imagine how beautiful will be the full option of this car so on the right side we have the automatic uh, wiper and the rear wiper controls the steering column does not have uh, any uh, power control function but it is tilt and telescopic uh, uh, through the through this manual controls over here on the left side we also have a small storage pocket available here so coming to the uh, infotainment screen uh, this is a 12.3 inch screen as I told you the home looks almost like this which looks somewhat similar to the Mercedes MBUX uh, It's a good screen good infotainment system pretty far the touch response is great actually So it has got uh, different controls like a navigation the navigation system basically uh, Honky didn't update it to the international market. It's still in the Chinese language and Chinese maps So it won't work in the other countries uh so the, there is another functions like uh, vehicle controls lighting the head-up display controls all these kind of things are controlled through this screen and then we have the multimedia screen which is having the radio and there is a hard drive available in this car so radio my music or bluetooth so the this does comes with a 12 speaker bose center point surround sound audio system the controls for the same will be available in the system settings if you go to the system settings there will be like system av and file three sections are there in the system basically controls everything uh, in the uh, car like it, it has got a wireless lan function bluetooth and uh, hotspot uh, these kind of things are there and if you go to the av we can control the uh ui theme as i shown you earlier and the display mode which is like for the infotainment system the uh, auto day or night we can set it and if you go to the sound effects here is the control for the bose audio system we have the center point surround sound system or we have the other options to select and if you go to the tone section we can control the bass and treble and uh, mid range of the uh, sound system or if you want to set a separate sound field we can select it through this screen uh, that's it e-motion basically uh, comes with some apps this is one also has to be updated in the international market because since honky has recently launched in uh, international market they are they didn't yet updated this uh, system completely uh, so this basically has option to put applications and uh, online applications and all uh, like uh, online radio these kind of stuff so we can load into the car and we can use it and this has got a notification tab as well like a mobile phone it's a beautiful one really easy to use uh, and it has got a pretty good quality basically so coming over to the overall dashboard of this car it has got this ac grills we feels like that long ac wheel goes all the way to the end but in fact this portion is just a design element only the ac grill for the passenger is over there and in the center we have two with the controls in here and below that we have this capacitive touch screen for the dual zone automatic ac of the car and below that we have some functions like auto stop and the stability control off function and the power control for the infotainment and the uh, parking sensor on off button along with this button which shows basically the 360 degree camera mm -hmm. system of the car and talking about this camera system it's having very good resolution and the 360 degree view is amazing and what is more amazing is have a look at this 3d function we can literally see around the car like in a bmw or rolls royce honky has very well integrated that in his in their cars and it even rotates the wheel when we run the car have a look okay so then we have this beautiful aluminum strip following all the way from that area to the entire dashboard with and the doors and this line is basically a interior mode lighting which is also beautiful it can be configured into any color we want through the infotainment system and 
and coming to the center control stack we can see the seated are heated and ventilated with a wireless charging port in this area uh, above that we have the auto hold function and the electronic parking brake with the drive mode selector the drive modes are controlled uh, are shown in the in in the instrument panel which is also showing in chinese actually as i told you the car is not yet completely updated to for international markets so uh, basically it has got some uh, sport mode and some four wheel drive modes uh that's it above that we have this beautiful gear lever which is having which is an electronic one. electronic one press this button to put the car into park on or press here and take it up for reverse or take it down for drive pretty simple controls here uh, as i shown before here we have the start stop button along with two cup holders and a 12 volt power outlet in the center talking about the storage space it has got two usb along with some nice storage space in the center now let's have a look at the headliner it's finished in cloth for this model but the higher trims comes with the alcantara headliner and in the center we have the controls for the full panoramic sunroof a very beautiful one to close that one all these controls are capacitive touch controls so here is how it closes and it is not com completely blocking the sunlight actually uh, we'll have somewhat sunlight coming inside through this uh, cloth element and here we have the light controls all led lights here there is no nothing like uh, incandescent kind of light in this car so this uh, rear view mirror is auto dimming one <coughs> and the sunshades are also having uh, vanity mirrors and illumination for that on the driver's side we can see a sunglass holder as well so overall it's a really really beautiful and luxurious car let's have a look at the rear space of the hs5 now so this is also a wide opening rear door uh, and talking at the door panel itself it's finished in a similar way of the front one and the speciality here is on each door we have the controls for both rear doors those are automatic up and down as i said earlier and below that we have a, a nice storage space along with the two Bose speakers again with a warning light so this is the interior rear space of the hs5 i didn't find this much leg room in any five seater cars or even some of the seven seater i never felt this much huge leg space for the rear passenger i will show you that in a moment let me step in so i am six feet and the front seats are adjusted to my height and this is the leg space available we can literally stretch our legs like this and we can sit really really amazingly spacious car i never seen something like this before so we can literally sit like this in the hs5's rear seat really beautiful seats here coming along with the alcantara lining and the center portion in uh, leather with diamond stitching in the center we have these two ac air vents doesn't uh, the, the car doesn't offer triple zone ac in this particular model but in the higher trim level it is available below that we have two usb ports for the charging along with the 12 volt power outlet the car not only gives us a proper leg room but it does gives a good headroom as well uh, in the center we have this foldable handrest along with two cup holders which are hidden inside this space there are some storage pockets behind the seats So here is the view to the front. Let's have a look at the trunk space of the HS5 now. It's an electronically operated, electronically and hydraulically operated uh, trunk here. The even with this much of leg room and all, we have got a good amount of storage space in here. Below this cover, we have some tools. And below that, below that we have a spare tire and in the center of that one we can see a Bose subwoofer. I have never seen something like this. The subwoofer is mounted along with a bolt in the center which can be removed to remove the 
the spare tire obviously so for more storage space obviously the the seats are 60 40 foldable in the rear just pull this lever to get a more flat storage space in the trunk to close the trunk simply press this button and it will close automatically for us let's have a look at the engine bay so this is a completely covered engine as you can see here uh, the car has got a 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder engine with 221 horsepower and 347 newton meters of torque which is paired with a 6 speed automatic as we know due to higher taxes in uh, china most of the manufacturers are sticking with smaller engines with uh, turbocharging technology and all so hongi follows the same thing but even with this 2 litre engine let's see how the hs5 drives driving the hs5 the 2 liter engine though it's not that powerful considering this as a luxury suv uh, i did feel that it's, it's enough and sufficient especially when you put this into sport mode the car gives a really uh, nice response Total response is uh, pretty nice, even though the uh, 0 to 60 lies somewhere around uh, 8 seconds. Thing about the steering wheel, it's, a, it's a really, it's, it's on a softer side actually. It's really soft, in fact. Uh, we can, most of the times, we can drive the car with a single hand. And also, I find the B pillars are a little wide, and, and looking at the blind spot is little. I felt a little difficult but it was balanced with the available blind sport monitoring system in this car so uh, <coughs> after using for a while we will be getting used to it and also the car comes with uh, certain safety features like uh, forward collision warning and uh, even uh, even automatic emergency brakes are available in this car the road noise is uh, on a lower side I will say like on higher speeds above like 130 kilometers per hour and all you will find a certain noise from this uh, rear view mirror uh, but it's not annoying and overall uh, engine noise also it's on a milder side only since it is a smaller engine <clears throat> the comfort level is more nice than I felt uh, the seats are really comfortable but the only part uh, i felt like missing was since i'm six feet long and my legs are pretty long uh, another, an additional thigh support or the seat uh, the shape of the seat if would have been raised it for an additional thigh support it would have been appreciated actually <clears throat> the suspension is also uh, not that soft even though it is a luxury uh, suv it's not on that softer side uh, in my usage of last couple of days I felt this car really comfortable especially I love the audio system in this car and the AC and the cooled seats all this together gives a nice luxury feeling for everyday use and the fuel consumption also is uh, since it is only a 2 liter 4 cylinder managed very well and the head-up display we have to talk about it it's a very nice one it gives only some minimalistic information such as normal driving we will have only the speed showing in front of us and while we're getting an incoming call or changing of music track that will be displayed at that particular point of time uh, it's a nice one actually the, the screens everything the reachability all are in a all are managed in a very good way so that's it about the hs5 we'll be back with some amazing videos soon so till then take care drive safe and bye bye